Hello all, my name is Mohammed Jassimpi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering, Vedavyasa Institute of Technology. I am here to do a tech talk on microchannel heat exchanger. That's a promising technology in the field of heat exchangers. So let's start with the heat exchanger. So what's a heat exchanger? Heat exchanger is a device that is used to transfer heat or exchange heat. A heat exchanger is a system used to transfer heat between a source and a working fluid. Heat exchangers are used in both cooling and heating processes. As you can see in this figure, the cold fluid is coming from this direction and it is going up in this direction. And similarly, the hot fluid is coming from this direction and is going out in this direction. So what happened here is that the cold fluid is getting heat from the hot fluid and it is getting warmed up or heated up. And similarly, the hot fluid is getting cooled down by rejecting heat to the cold fluid. So what's a microchannel heat exchanger? The principle, the main working principle of microchannel heat exchanger is same as that of normal heat exchangers like uh, shell and tube heat exchangers. But the difference here is that at least one fluid flows in channels of width less than one mm. In mechanical terms, the hydraulic diameter of the channel is less than one mm. It was first developed by Zuckerman and Pease. So why do we need a microchannel heat exchanger? Let me tell you. Due to rapid evolution in wide range of technologies in 20th century, heat dissipation requirement has increased very rapidly, especially from combat systems. Microchannel heat sinks are one of the most promising and efficient heat te exchanger technologies. Ex increase in power densities and miniaturization of electronic devices and high heat flux demands improved and efficient cooling solutions. There is an urgent need for high performance heat sinks to ensure the integrity and long life of these systems. My microchannel heat exchanger is having the advantages like it's compact, it is light in weight and is having higher heat transfer surface area to fluid volume ratio. The higher heat transfer surface area or the heat transfer surface area to fluid volume ratio is the one of the important factor in determine, determining the efficiency of a heat exchanger. Since the microchannel is having very small channel, it will be having a higher heat transfer surface area to fluid volume ratio. That means we only have to use a small amount of fluid or the refrigerants in microchannel heat exchangers. Since not all the refrigerants are not exactly environmental friendly, we are saving nature by employing the microchannel heat exchanger because we only have to use very small amount of uh, refrigerants in microchannel heat exchangers. The use of microchannel heat exchanger is limited by the coolant viscosity because we cannot use all the uh, all the type of coolants because uh, it's affected by the viscosity. We cannot use higher viscosity coolants in microchannel heat exchangers. The figure shows the working of microchannel heat exchanger. The red color indicates the hot fluid and the blue color indicates the cold fluid. The fluid is entering in this direction, it is passing through these small passageways. And an enlarged view is given in this figure, and uh, there is a small passageway like shown in this figure, and the fluid is passing through this passageways. And the air is passing in this transverse direction, and the air is getting heated up by absorbing heat from the hot fluid and in turn this uh, coolant or the refrigerant or the, uh, you know, the hot fluid is getting cooled down and that exchanges heat to the air and the air is getting heated up. So that's how the microchannel heat exchanger works. The conventionally used refrigerants in microchannels are air, water and refrigerants like R134 air. But in order to meet the higher cooling demands of, you know, the newer generation electronic devices, we have to use nanofluids. So what we are doing is, we are adding nanoparticles to the conventionally used refrigerants and that in turn improves the thermal conductivity. Nanofluids are used for high thermal conductivity applications or high cooling applications. So we, uh, f uh, by adding nanoparticles to the conventionally used refrigerants or coolants, we are increasing thermal conductivity of that said refrigerant. So we can use it for high heat flux applications. 
the main application in micro channel heat exchanger is in cooling electronic devices where the area is small the cryogenic industry is a major user and also the refrigeration industry and the high performance aircraft gas turbine engines and chemical reactors micro channel heat exchangers has some limitations as well the main limitation is the machine process since the passage base or the channels are very small in diameter like less than one mm as we discussed earlier it is very hard to manufacture that kind of channel using conventional manufacturing methods so we are using advanced manufacturing methods like stereo lithography or brazing processes another limitation would be the high pressure drop associated with the small or very small passage base so the pressure uh, the higher pressure drop will inversely affect the performance of a heat exchanger another limitation would be the coolant viscosity because we cannot use this high viscous fluids and pass through this tiny tiny channels because it will not work like that there will be high friction associated with the uh, high viscosity but uh, we cannot transfer that highly viscous fluid through this small channel so so uh, it is limited by the coolant viscosity we can only use very low viscosity very low viscous fluids in this micro channels so that's all about micro channels today thank you see you again